Whoa. that way. Nice. Yeah, it's moving that way, though. That way. Whoa. Excuse me? Yeah, it's moving this way. Hello, Sanders. We survived. But, um, let's just say the power's been out for hours. Sorry about the, how this looks. I mean, my camera does not focus in low lighting, but I can't really do anything about it. Good thing I have my battery powered lights because then I would be completely in the dark. My mom's in the middle of winning solitaire right now. We've been playing cards. It's only 30 degrees outside. I'm gonna have to really get some blankets on because I'm gonna be cold. <laughs> Made myself a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Also, our water is powered by electric too, so we have no water. But we have milk. And I had a full water bottle at the beginning of the day, but still, oh my goodness, I have no water. And then we spent the rest of the night watching a James May, how he built a real life size Lego house that was oddly enough downloaded on my brother's tablet that had 40% charge. It was actually really fun. You know, sometimes when the power goes out and you make the most of it, it turns out to be a good time. Good morning, Islanders. The power is still not back on. And it's windy and cold and I'm cold and I snuggled up in my bed with like three comforters because I'm cold. Our house is completely dependent on electricity. Uh, there is no gas anything. <laughs> so we can't get water. We can't turn on the heater. Uh, my brother is trying to get the generator going that we have. But the problem is that the gas, something's wrong with the gas or something. Our car, right before, we tried to drive it right before the storm and the brake thingy went out on it or something. So we oxygen. Also, I have to fix the car. Not going very good right now, but things are looking up because my brother thinks he can get the generator going, despite whatever's wrong with the gas, I don't know. We found a power bank thingy that had two bars in it in our uh, car. I'm charging the phone with that because it's completely dead. It won't even turn it on. And we're going to go from there. I am so thirsty. Like I said, at least we have milk. Doesn't really suffice for water though, but I'm going to get the generator going so we can get the pump the water to work. I don't know. I thought the power would be on right now and it usually is. It's usually not out for this long. It must have been a big storm but I can't really check like damage or anything because obviously we can't drive around. Can't drive a car with no brakes. Phone's dead so I have no idea what damage went on. I'm just so glad that that tornado did not hit us because we don't have any kind of storm shelter. It's kind of sad but we don't have one because we just live in a double wide. There is no basement or anything so we had no protection. Praying for the people that it probably did hit because like I said phone's dead. I can't check anything so I have no idea what like damage it was or who got affected by the storm. All I know is that we don't have power. Catch up with you in another jump cut. The power finally turned back on and I have never ran to the fridge as fast as I did that moment to get water. Hello, Ascenders. The power came back on yesterday at noon. Everything's fine with our house now. Tornado just went right by our house, which was crazy. I don't know why it didn't hit us. When we looked at the map, it should have hit us. And I was praying my rosary and we were praying, bleeding the blood of Jesus. We have no basement. We have no whatever shelter you go into. Um, we just live in a double wine, so we would be dead meat. <laughs> um, but it went around us. I'm uh, still here to make videos. <laughs> I didn't die. <laughs> but it was very, very stressful the last two days, so I haven't got much sleep, so I'm very tired. I am praying for the people who were hit by this horrible tornado. It is Sunday, and I wanted to do something fun. I didn't want to work or anything, and I just wanted to take a load off, so I'm in the camper today, and I am decorating it. If you've been watching my channel, you know that last fall I took on this project to fix up this 1966 camper that we just had on our property kind of wasting away. I'm fixing it up so it can become my filming like studio where I film. This camper doesn't have heating and cooling but that's okay because I don't film on the hottest days or the coldest days and the windows all work so I can open those if I get hot. The camper doesn't have electricity but it has one outlet. It has a center cord that can be hooked to our house so I can power my ring light this way and then when I'm filming with my camera of course my camera is battery charged. Um so that is how this is going to work out. I'm, I'm so excited to use it this spring. I haven't really worked on it all winter. During Vlogmas I probably updated you. I've been making curtains, but now I'm kind of designing. I'm like trying to put up some pictures and stuff and it's just a really nice day today. As you can see, I got a curtain up that we sewed. Isn't that beautiful? I gotta put that curtain up back there. If you can see that window back there. Balling Zoo are here, by the way. They took a dirt bath outside <laughs> where they came in. I was like, you guys, you're so dirty. I don't know. I feel like cats just love taking dirt baths. Speaking of dirt baths, we have a chicken coop right there in front of the camper and we have roosters. So if you can hear them or hear them crowing, they're literally 
right outside the window. That's where the chickens live. They live right by this filming camper of mine. And they're constantly taking dirt baths. Anyways, let me show you what I'm doing. It's kind of going against the light a little bit, so I don't know if you can see it, but here's the curtain I just put up that we sewed. It's roses, Veneros, right? Then I did this curtain. This curtain right here that we put up and sewed, I think it looks great. There's some greenery for my room. I have four of those in my room, so I just took one and put it there. I gotta fix it a little bit. And it's right by this table area here. And here are some things that I might want to put in the camper right here. We have Our Lady of the Angels. We have this beautiful picture of Odette. This is the backpack that I use to take things from my room to the camper. Kind of wanted to show it to you. I got it used for like 10 bucks. If you've been wearing this channel for a long time, this was a long time ago, but last summer, I guess it was kind of back to school, end of summer, I got a bunch of these keychains. This one and this one. Remember we got them from Dollar Tree. So cool. I actually got this pin right here. Temu. It was literally like 70 cents. I didn't buy this when I made this one. This was so fun to spray paint because I feel like it looked really good. Here are the roses that I've added to the camper. I gotta fix them up here. I really like them because they're pink and I got them from Dollar Tree during Valentine's Day. I got this at Goodwill and I also wanted to put it in the kitchen. I don't know. It's like a green house. This has been very beneficial. Remember we went to Goodwill and we got it. It's great. I have it looking up like that because when it hits the white of this, it illuminates more light. And it's the only light I have in here and I can only plug one in. So. I'm really happy with the curtains. I just used a bed sheet. So. Hello, Ascenders. Just check it in. It is Monday and I am filming in our filming cat camper. Now, nobody died in this terrible storm, but one person did get hurt. I am so grateful to God that I'm still sitting here and I can still work, but I still am keeping the people who were affected in my prayers. Oh, and for our journey to continue together, please click right here. I'm gonna end this vlog right here. Thank you for coming along with me, Ascenders. And remember, our dreams ascend to the next Bye! Love ya! See you my next!